Hello everybody, Rusted Brown here and welcome to Tales of the Borderlands. Uh, this is a new game from Telltale um, Games. Well, it's not a new game, it's an old game, but it's new for me because I've never played it before. <laughs> and it's new on the channel. Uh, this was actually uh, gifted to me by, uh, by one of you guys. And I would like to say thank you again to Heliophanus for, uh, for giving this game to me. Um, he just um, had the key to it. And he thought I would uh, I would enjoy the game. So <clears throat> I've said um, in in my uh, channel update video that I will be playing a few um, a few games from Telltale, and I decided to start with uh, with Tales of the Borderlands. Um, so yeah, let's let's get into this. I don't have any knowledge of Borderlands. Um, I don't really. I, I know it's a it's a first person uh, game. I'm not really a big fan of uh, FPS uh, games or first-person uh, action, and I've said this before. The only first-person game that I play would be Overwatch. Otherwise, I prefer the third-person view, usually. Uh, but this is a whole different story, and um, yeah, I've been told I don't really need to have any uh, previous knowledge of the Borderlands universe to get into this. So, without further ado, let's click play and start the story here. We're gonna start with episode one called Zero Sum. So... Oh. This is it. Let's do this. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Yeah, this is the... the text. For Back all again Telltale to games. hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril? Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. <laughs> you could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperion and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Okay, I have to say I'm really uh, liking the setting. And the narrator's voice, of course. It's quite, uh, quite interesting. Has an interesting accent. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! Is this, uh, our main guy? Fiona? Well, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? Whoa! Rice, company man. You. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well, this is a promising uh, start. <laughs> what is happening right now? I ask the questions. Okay, then do you mind asking yourself what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, what the hell? 
Tell me about the Gordis Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordis is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. Yeah. I'm maybe, not a patient person. Maybe it would be. So just start talking. A good idea not just to be a smart ass. Where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and uh... from the beginning? Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be rabbit, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? Interesting. <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. To be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. <laughs> but a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. I wonder what's with the uh, bionic arm. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. Vaughn, your best friend, the you're money man. A fraction of what he earns. You'll be rolling in it. Yeah, I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. We're meeting well, with a bad actor to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Really? Glad that <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> that high, huh? Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. <laughs> okay. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, we need some condescending. <laughs> it's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's <laughs> that? There you go. Oh, my God. Don't respect God. me at all. <laughs> Don't respect me at all. Oh, Mr. Henderson. Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. Reese. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Oh, I know because this black voice. Is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company. Car. Hugo Vasquez. Vasquez. Your Hyperion nemesis. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So you might not have been in the loop. So where's Henderson? He uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. Oh, great. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. Because <laughs> I thought this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the mm. exact same reason why North is North. 
Why the handsome guy always gets the girl, and why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cod. <laughs> it's destiny, race. Of course and it men, is. Real men, men like me. Okay. Make their own. Interesting. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul. Your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Whoa. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. Oh my you god, who's that? Man. Wow. Is that I Henderson? Not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? That's good. It's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. What? Of course I'm still interested. I guess I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. Huh. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Use the mouse to look around. Yeah. Uh, okay. Whoop, up, 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 up. Yeah, Easy. Yeah, yeah, no, but... Damn it. Press Q to activate Echo Eye. Do you want the money or not? Is that Whoa, Echo Eye, what is this? It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get. Oh, really? Boom. Yes. Analysis complete. Holographic computer monitor. Expensive. Class high. User ID. Hugo Vasquez currently yeah, viewing one encrypted file. Boom. Download and uh, use your palm interface to access the file. Ye ho 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 ho. Volky. Hello. What the hell is this? Unknown energy matrix. What the Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be $10 million, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. Interesting it's ability we have here. Right? Very interesting. Sure. 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 Okay. Say out of your mouth. Damn it. Ah, right. What is this all about, Mr. Hotshot? Now, uh, what were we talking about? Nothing important. Before we were so rudely interrupted. You were lecturing me. It was taking a while. <laughs> All right, your uh, promotion. Exactly. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm going to make you assistant vice. Assistant janitor. vice what? <laughs> wow. Thank you. What no, can I say? No, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Uh, you're a jerk. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. Yep, he's a scumbag. Fine. I've had to do worse Let's in my Let's play it cool now, for now. That's the spirit, Reese. Nothing teaches you humility faster than scrubbing toilets. Uh -huh. You're dismissed, Reese. So we got a bionic eye and a bionic arm. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. Mm hmm. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us. He just did. No. No, no. This can't be happening. I'm finished, Vaughn. I'm finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they can't. Not yet. 
Unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's not that... Oh crap, we will need to... Shit. Yeah. For trash cleanup, because that is your job now, to clean up trash wow. with your bare hands. Sorry, wow. you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? Uh, we got a promotion. I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Yeah. It's my job now, Yvette. No. Oh, this is Yvette. Well, okay, yes, technically, but not for long. It's that prick Vasquez. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. Holy crap. So, does that mean you're not buying? <laughs> the other best friend. Requisitions and lunch leech. <laughs> well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for I'll me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Mm-hmm. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is his vault keys. It's perfect! I mean... Not only do we screw over Askez, we have a freaking vault key. <laughs> Askez. What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Ten million. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. What? What do you mean, done? I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. Mean? I mean, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. Gee, damn, son. If anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well... Looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, 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 right? hey, hey, we need your help. <laughs> we need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends! Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Pretty please. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Come on, Yvette. We're in this together. One of us moves up, we all move up. Yeah, and by that same logic, in some way, we all just got demoted to janitor. Do you really want <laughs> True. that? True. Exactly. Vasquez Do you? really screwed us, didn't he? Yep. Yes, he did. Fine. But I'm still hungry. No problem. We only got a couple of hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Sounds good. Standard? Really? You can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it's just... If you're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Oh man, Vasquez car, right? 